And though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. But my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. All right, Shalom. This is the brother of Warbuff from Great Millstone, Dallas. Coming back to you again with another lesson. Before I kick it off, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers, and you uh, sincere Aquat that are out there pushing and listening and doing this, uh, doing to the best of their ability according to the laws, statutes, and commandments of this truth. You know, to the best of their ability across the cor- four, four corners of the planet Earth. Okay. And tonight's topic or this morning's topic, as it dawns on a new new day. Um, today is so-called Martin Luther King Day. Okay. And this is the day that, um, you know, the so-called Americans celebrate in honor of the late Martin Luther King, who was a... Uh, evangelist or also known as you know a person that uh stood up for uh so-called negro rights here in uh, america okay but once you come into the true knowledge wisdom and understanding of the heavenly father you will come to realize that this guy was the ultimate coon straight up ultimate coon he stood contrary to what the scriptures tell us as far as being, you know, a different and a separate nation, okay? <clears throat> at that time, you know, at that time, way back then when he was around, you know, you had a lot of, uh, you know, civil rights problems and things like that, where, you know, Negroes and, you know, men of color, Latinos, Native Americans, basically Israelites, uh, weren't were treated fair fairly still not treated fairly anyway but not to digress it's just a um you know he he had uh different things that he did in in you know in favor to get um different treatment of the so-called negroes latinos and native americans rectified okay but let's 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 stick to the point of this lesson okay in the beginning The Most High has actually had us separate or separated from other nations from the foundation of the earth, from the beginning, as it was written within Genesis. Okay, we are a special people. Okay, even even from the Adamites, 
you know, that your your, your so-called pastors aren't going to teach you this because they don't even have the proper understanding of it themselves. But from the beginning, we were set apart from all the other nations on the planet Earth. Okay, we are a nation of kings and priests and always have been. Okay, well, Martin Luther King, a he fought he fought for, you know, to integrate uh, all of the nations to where we could be created as one and created as equal to the so-called white man who are biblically known as the Edomites. Okay, they are known as Esau, Edom. All right. And if you go into the scriptures, you can clearly tell that we were set above Esau. Okay, and there's multiple scriptures that you can pull. Even if you go back to Genesis 25, you can actually tell or you can actually see if you read there that the uh, the elders shall serve, shall serve the younger. Okay, so we're above them, but we have to serve this captivity because we went off and we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. Okay, but this one I entitled the MLK Dream. You know, I have a dream. Was the dream really a dream of, of of a prophecy or was it a lie? Okay. And it's a funny thing that everything was written before time for our learning. You know, even a prophecy that was going to, you know, cut this coon. And what I'm talking about, which is going to be the first scripture that I pull, is going to be in Jeremiah. Okay, so actually I'm going to get out of this one. It's lucky I've actually uh, been doing a few different lessons tonight. So I'm going to go to Jeremiah chapter 23. Okay, bear with me, I can All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, and I believe it's going to be verse 25. Okay, because we already know that uh, Martin Luther King's um, come to fame was his I Have a Dream speech. All right. And we're we're going to see what the what the the prophet Jeremiah had to say about this particular situation. It blew my mind once I heard I once I read this myself. But let's 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 bring it out. Okay, all through the spirit. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 25 and it says, "I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Oh, I have a dream. Okay. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that lie, that prophesy lies? That's right, man. These guys prophesy lies, man. Okay. First and foremost, you know, not to digress too much, but let's go to real quick. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter seven in the sixth verse. Okay. And it says, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. And it says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, unto Yahweh thy God. Yahweh thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the earth, upon the face of the earth. Okay? You got to understand, he just said you are above all people. All right? So in this time, let's 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 rewind all the way back to the 1950s, 40s, 30s, 20s of uh, let's look at the history of America, okay? And let's look at how they treated so the so-called blacks, uh, Latinos, and Native Americans at that time, okay? They had this thing called segregation, all right? Segregation to where they kept all nations separate. You couldn't drink out of the same water fountain as the so-called white man. You couldn't use the same bathrooms. You couldn't go into certain places, certain restaurants, certain establishments. You couldn't you couldn't deal. You know what I'm saying? You 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 didn't have all of the things that they had. Okay? Which in Esau's kingdom, they of course they're gonna have all of the better and much more glamorous things than we shall. Okay? But they made it perfectly known that you're not allowed to be there. Okay, so Excuse me. You got to go back to you got to go back to the beginning. It wasn't just a new thing that the so-called white man that the Edomites made up. OK, separation, segregation has been going on since the beginning of the world. 
okay, since the beginning of eternity, beginning of life as we know it, okay, it was looked at as a righteous thing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. We were segregated from them and from all other nations because we were the chosen people. We are the chosen people still to this day, okay? So segregation truly was a good thing, all right? But you have this guy named Martin Luther King that wanted to drink out of the same thing as the, out of the same places as the white man who wanted to make himself equal to the white man, which is a derogatory thing when you come to realize that we are a nation of kings and priests, according to this scripture right here, okay? We're a holy people. So let's go into the word holy real quick. Let's get the, the etymology of this word real quick, okay? All right, so this is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. We're going to drop down to the word holy, without our holy, and that word in the Hebrew is kadash. Strong's H, 6918. Kadosh. Kadosh. Sacred. Second entry. Kadosh. Kadosh. Sacred, holy, holy one, saint, set apart. We hit the root word, which is kadash, to consecrate, sanctify, prepare, dedicate, to be hallowed, holy, to be sanctified, to be separate. Okay? We're not to be intermingled with other nations like that. Okay? The Lord didn't want us to do that. That, in fact, was something that caused us to go off and is the reason that we are in the captivity that we're in to this day. Okay. All right. So you have this guy, Martin Luther King Jr., who fought for the uh, so-called civil rights of uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are here. Primarily, you, uh, you Negroes of the Southern Kingdom. Okay. So-called Judah, or who is Judah, Salakia. All right. He fought for those things like that to 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 integrate us in to uh to esau's kingdom all right but you gotta understand man that's not that's not that's not something that we that is supposed to happen okay we're not supposed to be held equal to people that are beneath us okay we're gonna rule over them we were always meant to rule over them according to prophecy all right you know, and, he, and it was funny that, you know, the, the prophet Jeremiah prophesied these things, man. He even prophesied and he written it down in a book about how these guys, these prophets were going to talk about. They had a dream that, you know, whatever this and whatever that. So we're going to go back to the scripture. And we're going to read it again. This is Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 25. I have heard what the prophets said. All right. I've heard what the prophet said, that the prophecy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have a dream. I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that, that, that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own heart, okay, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. That word Baal there is primarily Lord, but it's going to go into something else that is not exactly meaning our true Lord. Okay. Supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanite. Okay. So that's, that's another deity of something that's going into idol worship. Okay. Why do you want to be one with the so-called white man? He doesn't care for you. He doesn't love you. He doesn't like you. He's never liked you from the beginning. Okay? Israelite man, Israelite woman, wake up. All right? You have a you have a, a Edomite president in office that is not ashamed to tell you how he really feels about you. Okay? For one, these MLK clowns that that like the day off or could they give you an uh, they gave this guy a, uh, a recognition of a day in America to where you can have a day off or whatever it's supposed to be a 
a national holiday of some sort. But Esau still have you working on that day. They don't give a fuck about Martin Luther King Day. They don't care about it. You know, he was just some other nigga to them. You know? And that's it's exactly the same way that you should look at it, man. This guy, not only did he, he fight to, to put you in a, a, a situation to where you have to be integrated with them. Why, man? Why? The Edomites are devils, man. They're demons. Why should you have to share things with them, man? Okay? Especially being royalty, a line of royalty. Why should you have to be with the peasants? If you really think about it, if you have the mentality of a of a, a, a like-minded and a spiritual Israelite person, man. Okay? That's the whole point of this whole thing, man. You know? And so I just wanted to highlight that real quick. You know, real fast that MLK is just another lie. And with that, I hope this lesson's been edifying. And I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to you, Akiyam, that are out there pushing this work and doing this in truth and sincerity to wake up the hopeful elect so we can get out of here. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.